So far we have created highlight covers, quote graphics, and now we're going to move on to step three. When branding your business Instagram account, you want to make sure you have some branded Instagram story templates. You can use these to share customer testimonials, advertise upcoming events, or just make announcements. So if you have not watched those videos, make sure that you go back and watch those if you are trying to grow your business on Instagram. If you have not joined my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library filled with cheat sheets, tutorials, checklists, and even some stock photos for free, just go to LaShondaBrown.com or you can click on the link in my description. Without further ado, let's hop in. One of the perks of Canva Pro is the magic resize feature. And this is an awesome way for you to make sure that you continue to have the same colors and fonts, but you can change your designs to fit a different size template. So what we're going to do is click on resize and we're gonna type in Instagram story. So we'll click Instagram story. And what we wanna do is copy this file and resize it. That way it does not affect my Instagram quote graphics that I already designed, but it keeps all the same content and just resizes it for Instagram. So as you can see, it now changed everything to be the same size as an Instagram story template. Now, obviously there are some things that aren't quite translating over. So we can make some slight adjustments here. And as you can see, when you do the vertical, it doesn't seem to work as well in Instagram stories as it did in Instagram. So maybe we don't need that template at all. And maybe what we wanna do instead is to simply drag the images here and make this more of a box. So if I wanted a quote graphic, this may be a better fit. So we're just going to make some slight adjustments, remembering that this area at the bottom will be covered up by features of Instagram. Now this is an interesting situation where the logo would be great right here, but we're using the white logo. So I will go ahead and delete that. We're going to go back to folders and we're going to get the full color version that looks better on white. And so I think this could be a great fit if we wanted to put a quote in the Instagram stories. And maybe we can adjust this a little bit more. So now we have a format for Instagram quotes, but maybe we want a format to advertise an event or maybe give a client testimonial. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of these if we were doing an event, we're going to make a blank one of these and go to templates. And so as I scroll down here, maybe something more like this could be a better fit for an event. So we'll make it bigger. And yeah, I think that is what I'm going to go with. So what we'll do is we will adjust this template to match the branding here. Perfect. All right, so I think that looks really good. And maybe we'll just go ahead and make that extra solution staffing. And I'm gonna move this up a little bit here. move that up to make sure that it doesn't get cut off when it gets posted to Instagram. So maybe the last thing I want, and actually now that I look at this, we may want to also include their logo somewhere. So we'll go back to our logo folder. We'll use that white version. And maybe we can stick that up here. All right. So the last thing is maybe a client testimonial. 
So what we'll do, I think it would be really nice to do a few things. Include a picture, maybe the name of the organization and the quote itself. All right, so what we have here is it looks like there is a photo in the background. This is a color overlay. And that is just an image that they dropped in there. So what we're going to do so that we can make our own template out of this. So I'm going to drop a grid over top of this image. I like the placement that they have, but I want to be able to just click and drag an image there. So I will position that backwards. And now that's ready to go. We're going to update that font. change that and we're going to make this red and white make that red and we're going to change that blue to the ESS blue And so I'm going to adjust the transparency because when this is all the way down here, it looks a little gray. So we're going to make that more like nine. And the last thing we want to do is go ahead and add their logo back to this. And we'll do that in white. So now we have a template that we can use for client testimonials, for events, and our own quote graphics. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me brand a business Instagram account. If there are other tutorials that you would like to see within Canva, just let me know in the comments. Be sure to like this video and subscribe because I teach people how to grow their biz without breaking the bank. Until next time, ta-ta for now.